A volunteer for the Springfield Zoo is worried budget cuts may be putting people's safety in jeopardy. Larry Estab emailed the head of the park district. He raised concerns over the public not being evacuated during last week's fire. He also says broken fences aren't being fixed quickly enough. He blames cutbacks in maintenance workers. I personally have seen at least three guests that have tripped and fell due to uh, boards uh, that uh, were loose on, on the bridges across the zoo. Uh, nothing's been done about those. There are areas where the fencing actually has uh, uh, fallen down and never been replaced, so people can get into, uh, kids can run into the pond. The head of the park district plans to tour the zoo with us staff to fully understand the concerns. The zoo admits its facilities are old, but says there are no safety hazards. But they to talk about the problem. And sticking with animals, a volunteer is questioning safety at Springfield Zoo after budget cuts. Larry Estep emailed the head of the park district. He raised concerns over the public not being evacuated during a recent fire at the zoo. He also says broken fences aren't being fixed quickly enough. He blames maintenance worker cutbacks. I personally have seen at least three guests that have tripped and fell due to uh, boards uh, that uh, were loose on, on the bridges across the zoo. Uh, nothing's been done about those. There are areas where the fencing actually has uh, uh, fallen down and never been replaced, so people can get into, uh, kids can run into the pond. The park district leader plans to visit the zoo with Estep to talk about his concerns. The zoo says it knows the facilities are old, but says there are no safety hazards. And speaking of safety, maybe apparently rather, it's a jungle in the city of Champaign. Leaders